I'm Mark Monroe. I'm a principal engineer in Microsoft's advanced development group in the cloud operations and innovation part of Microsoft. And hydrogen fuel cells was one of the projects that I started working on a couple of years ago when I joined Microsoft. Scott Spink, I'm the director of engineering for Stationary Power. And I'm Darren Painter. I'm the VP of sales for Stationary Power, working with Scott's team and, and working with Mark on this particular project, introducing our, our large scale, megawatt scale fuel cell solutions into multiple markets, data centers being a, a big target of ours from the very beginning. Mark, I, I know you spoke at our symposium last year. Since then, we've had a lot of activity. I would welcome your thoughts on, you know, really what's changed since you spoke at our symposium last year. Yeah, of course, we were working on this project last year. We had symposium and, you know, it was hard for us not to give sneak peeks into it too much. But really, I, I think that the last year has been very exciting as we saw the project start to come together. And really, our goal was to inspire not only our industry, the digital infrastructure industry, but but kind of the industry at large around the potential for zero pollution generation resources, proving it could be done at scale, was, was important. And, uh, you know, we did that over the last year, putting, seeing the, the project come together was, was really uh, a great collaboration, I think, between our two companies on, on what we think is the largest uh, hydrogen powered backup generator um, that, that we've ever seen in the industry. Uh, my colleague Sean James calls it a uh, Sean James calls it a uh, a moon landing moment uh, for us, and and that really was we felt that that definite excitement uh, over the last year. What is driving the sustainability goals within within Microsoft? Hydrogen is part of a portfolio of solutions that we'll use um, to meet the commitment for negative carbon and uh, the other commitment that we made back in 2020 was that we would be at zero. Uh, fossil fuel based diesel uh, use by 2030. And so you'll see Microsoft and, and I think probably other companies use a portfolio, but hydrogen generators will be a key part of that. And uh, the, this demonstration uh, in particular showed the potential for it. So, you know, what are your thoughts on how you feel that PIM fuel cells help achieve not only your sustainability goals, but really ultimately your goal, I assume, to replace some of the carbon emitting solutions such as diesel generators in your network? Yeah. We, Plug Power and Microsoft, had to prove that the PEM fuel cells could act as a diesel generator in terms of response time, startup, cold starts, you know, the ability to accept load quickly. Uh, and those are all the things that we verified as, uh, as part of the development project that we did together. What's next for Microsoft and even longer term, what's, what's next for the industry as it relates to, to PEM fuel cells in, in your mind? Well, I'm going to I'm going to say a little bit, but then I'm actually going to turn it around. You know, we've kind of proven out the, the technology at a prototype scale. Uh, now what we need to do in our next step in our development typically is we, we now we want to test a marketable product um, that uh, that we can take and then start to build into our data center designs around the world. And so, uh, you know, I'll pass it back to you all. What does your next generation product look like? And, uh, you know, when can we have it? Because that's the, that's the next milestone. <laughs> um, we have a lot more granularity and a lot more modularity built into the system. So the system is, it still fits in a 40 foot container. Uh, there are 15, it'll hold up to 15 Progen 125 units, but each one of them operates independently and is controlled independently so they can the efficiency, uh, the ability for us to control what the output of the system is and the efficiency of the system and the operating point of the system are all much more flexible uh, and designed to, to be able to interact, not just with a, a data center backup, but all sorts of different applications that customers may have, EV charging, um, continuous operation, things like that. The next uh, difficult thing, which is going to be, okay, now that we've got a, a, a hydrogen powered generation asset, how do we actually fuel it and use it in the future? How do we store that stuff for long periods of time, which hadn't been really been done before? You know, we at Plug have really started to fill in those gaps. Uh, and that is with, you know, our ability to, to supply fuel with our green hydrogen network we're building. I think, you know, for you guys to kind of get a comfort level uh, across multiple industries, you need to know that that supply is there, that that supply is green. And I think we're bringing that to the table, which really makes a difference. I just want to say thanks to the engineering team. Scott, I, I'm sure we've done it before, but I express my thanks to your engineering team and the, the whole uh, company that worked together to get this project done. 
Uh, we couldn't have done it without you and uh, we're very excited for the possibilities going forward. Thanks everybody. It's a posy. Take care.